Hi guys! So today we are doing a first impressions video. This is obviously a beauty video. So we're trying and reviewing some products that three products that I'm using for the first time today and one that I've been using for a few weeks. I will tell you about all these. Let's go. Okay, first up, we have the Verse Dew Point Moisturizing Gel Cream. Now, this I've actually been using for a few weeks because I feel like you can't really try a cream in one go and, you know, see how it feels. This is a great moisturizer, but it's not like in the affordable range. It is a little more expensive. It's about 1400 rupees for this tube. I have been using it for quite a while though, and I think it's, you just need a small amount and you apply it all over your face. It has a gel-like, you know, consistency, so it gets absorbed really easily. It's non-sticky, great for like day and night use. So this has, yeah, green tea extract and aloe leaf juice. It's really Really calming I feel lately I've been breaking out quite a bit but it has helped with just keeping my skin calm it's also pretty like cool so I feel like it's hydrating as well in terms of like as a winter cream I've used this quite a bit so yeah I think it's worth the price and it's pretty good I also like the tube format more than the tub somehow with the tub i feel like you're dunking your fingers in every day and i don't know how hygienic that is but with this at least you know you take out like a small pea-sized amount put it onto your hand apply it and it's also easy if you're traveling so yeah loving this lately up next we have something more affordable this is the dot and key lip balm this is uh, got vitamin c vitamin e spf 30 and this is the glitter balm now i've been quite excited to try this because i feel like a lot of people are doing glitter glosses and balms and stuff again um, packaging is nice and pretty you've got this silver you know detailing here and like a little bit of lilac let's see what this is like okay so it's a nice thick like gel i'm gonna put this on my hand so we can see uh how shiny and glittery it is it doesn't really have big bits of glitter so honestly i thought it would have like a lot of glitter so this is just feeling like a regular lip balm gloss vibe to me i'm gonna try putting it over what i currently have so i do have a slight bit of an orangey color on my lips let's see if it makes a difference to that So it's definitely hydrating, which is what a balm is supposed to do. Um, it's thinner than I would say Vaseline. Obviously, it's not that thick as a gel, like if you put Vaseline onto your lips. So I'm not really seeing any specks of glitter like properly on my lips. I feel like I'm just seeing like a sheen, which is like any lip balm or, you know, like if you were to just put on a clear gloss, like that's the kind of feeling I'm getting. I'm not really seeing a lot of glitter, which for me is a little disappointing because I thought this would be great for the whole glitter lips trend where you put on any lipstick and you just apply this over. But this is going into a more of a gloss balm kind of a vibe, but it's hydrating. It does the job otherwise. And yeah, it smells good as well. Tastes good as well. Yep. Up next, we're gonna try this guy. Now, I did briefly try this when I got it. Uh, this is the IKT wax stick I ordered off Amazon. So, you know, I actually was using one of my sun sticks, the ones I bought from Korea, and I was like, you know what would be great? This would be great for hair. And I didn't know that they actually already make them for hair. Uh, that's when I kind of Googled wax stick for hair just to be like, oh, this would be great. And I realized there's this viral TG wax stick that was all over TikTok. Of course, we don't have TikTok, so I that's why I didn't know about it. Um, but this is like a dupe of that, which is called IKT wax stick. I got it off Amazon for about 400 bucks. And um, I'm not so sure of in terms of the quality of this or the ingredients of this, but let's see if it gets the job done. So this is what it looks like. And you're supposed to push it, like if you push it from the bottom, it comes out like this like you can see that and then when you i think put the cap back on i guess it just falls back in i hope so yeah <laughs> so yeah this is really nice if you want like a nice slick back tight ponytail or if you're making like a bun um or even if you have shorter hair and you've got lots of flyaways like in this area like a lot of people generally have like you know baby hair and stuff like that it works really well for that so i'm just gonna tie it and then try this 
so you can see i've got like slight bits of baby hair here um also like some flyaways on the top and i'm just going to try and see how this works i did it like on a tiny patch when it initially came just to test it um it is pretty thick and it does feel waxy as i'm applying it you're just meant to glide it like this over the like hair for you know the areas that you want to use it on a lot of people also use it for the base like when you're doing a ponytail i don't have that so uh we don't need it i'm just going to go along the ponytail to show you guys at the top of my head this is where all my baby hair is and i've kind of just pressed it back with this so yeah it is pretty like slick you can see there's not much of my hair falling out usually i do have to put clips here for this baby hair because it all starts to kind of like sprout here but with this i haven't had to do that and it, there's no i mean it is a little sticky when you touch it but it's not like crazy sticky like there's a lot of product of course i've done like a not a very thorough job i've just done it lightly upar upar se uh, but i feel like if you had a tight ponytail and you did this well it would really get rid of all your flyaways and do the job now let's see if we open it out after how does it really affect the hair it also smells pretty good i'll give it that so not bad like you do feel like it's a it's a little like obviously like there is that product residue and slight stickiness on the base of the hair because obviously that's the part you're seeing but um i've opened it after and like my hair is still moving quite a bit and it doesn't seem like you know like how when you put hair gel and it dries it doesn't have that effect for sure it's waxy um and it smells good and it does the job i feel like this is going to be Uh, a real game changer for people that do a lot of like top knots or like you know if you have like a lot of that or if you just have a lot of baby hair and you just want to kind of get rid of it even here it's really good for that so yeah i am very impressed with this and i feel like um this is going to be like a regular i think also the packaging is pretty good for a product that that's not so expensive and i like the screw cap so you know it can't even open in your bag or whatever this is easy to like carry for someone if you want to use this every day just on your flyaways or if you have a job actually that needs your hair to be in a bun or in a ponytail um this would actually be really good to keep it neat because if you don't want it to look messy with the flyaways you can actually carry this around and yeah this would be really good for someone like that as well now up next we have this one very excited about this so this is the really popular like face mask from Olive Young bought this in Seoul uh this is one of those trending really cool masks it's a one time use thing so it comes in this little box you got to make it apply it and then that's it so yeah i got about 4 or 5 of these um because i saw them a lot like when i googled what are the products to buy at Olive Young this was one of them this is like one of the trending products right now so Let's try it. Step one: tear off the pouch, pour powder in the cup. Uh, put that much water into the cup. Uh, mix the powder and water with the spatula quickly. Apply the mixture onto your face and remove it after 10 to 20 minutes, like once it dries out. So this is, I think, one of those peel-off masks. This looks exciting. Okay, so the first step is pouring the powder into the container. So we're gonna do that. Okay, the next thing is you have to make a cone with the lid. Um, so I'm assuming they mean this way, and it says pour 1.5 to two conefuls into this of water, and then you're just supposed to like mix, mix, mix like this. So it's quite lumpy still because I have a lot of the powder, so I'm just mixing it to kind of make sure um, that the paste is smooth and. I've got all the powder. So this is somewhat what it looks like. Okay, I'm just going to try putting it on now. So just taking it and applying it. You have to do this really quickly because it becomes very thick very fast. Like I feel like it's already quite thick. But this applicator or spatula that they give you is quite nice and makes it easy to apply. It feels really cool. Like it's got a nice tingly mentholy kind of feel and uh, it has tea tree in it so it's good for like I guess acne prone skin as well and it just feels really good nice cool and tingly right now like that's what it feels so I think I pretty much got everything uh whatever's left is pretty doughy and hard now and we're just going to follow the instructions and wait 
So it's been about over 10 minutes and it's pretty dry. Normally these things take about 20 minutes to dry, so I'm quite surprised. It feels really cool, like nice, cool and mentholy and really like that tingly nice feeling. Now let's see, moment of truth. It's time to take it off. I don't know if it will come off in one go because I've done a poor job of applying it, but I'm gonna try. But oh, oh, we have a chunk coming off here. Let's see, let's see. Fine. So it's like this like atta like dough basically and you can just peel it off. So I've got most of it off but I think I'm gonna have to rinse some of the uh, bits on my hairline and stuff so I'm gonna come back. So I really like how my skin feels after. It kind of feels like a luxurious facial or you know one of those where they end with this and it feels pretty good, looks pretty good. Definitely like a fresher, cleaner looking feeling. Um, I really like that you can do this at home, which is a plus, you know what I mean? Like usually you have to go to the spa or to the salon and get a facial and then have this big peel off thing. I did feel however I could have done a better job with application and got the whole thing off next time. So of all the products I tried today, I feel like uh, it's hard to pick one favorite. I'm going to pick two actually because I do really like two of them. This one, um, I definitely love this moisturizer and it's going to go on to like one of my favorites lists as moisturizers because it's really good. I also like this, like look at this, like I've washed my face, all that, not one strand is out of place. So yeah, pretty impressed with this one as well. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and comment below if there are any other products that you guys want me to try and test for you. I will do another first impressions video. Let me know in the comments. See you guys. Bye.